to walk that road together, California. We have to walk that road arm in arm. Who is LaFonza Butler? Well, she's about to become the newest California senator. Congresswoman Dianne Feinstein's sudden death last week opened up an interim Senate spot that will fill the role until Senate elections in 2024. California Governor Gavin Newsom has appointed LaFonza Butler to take her seat. Why did Newsom pick her? Here's what you need to know. LaFonza Butler is leaving her role as president of EMILY's List to join the U.S. Senate. Now, since the dawn of patriarchy, women have had their power stolen. Time and again, we have been told what we can and cannot do, what choices we can and cannot make about our lives and our futures. But time and again, we have come together across race and across place to respond to questions about our rights with clarity and resolve. Our bodies belong to us. Our freedoms are not up for debate. We are the answer. Now, I want to be clear, when I use the word we, I'm not just referring to a vague collective. I am talking about the coalition that reflects, that truly reflects the United States. I'm talking about the we that has been required to win at the ballot box, the we that powered Secretary Clinton's race to break the glass ceiling, the we that have given money to support this organization and to strengthen the women who are running for office in the most perilous time in our nation, we, including men and women, young and old, old, rural and urban, black and brown, indigenous and immigrant, cis and trans Americans, we are the answer. The organization is dedicated to supporting pro-choice women candidates running for office. They have pretty significant fundraising power and claim to have helped elect more than 200 women to Congress. Butler has never held political office, but worked as an advisor to Vice President Kamala Harris's presidential campaign in 2020. She has also been a union organizer and a policy advisor for Airbnb. Newsom pledged to appoint a black woman as Feinstein's replacement. Butler is now the only black woman in this current Senate and the first openly queer black woman to ever serve in Congress. Butler has been living and voting in Maryland, but owns a house in California and will transfer her voting registration to the state. As we mourn the enormous loss of Senator Feinstein, the very freedoms she fought for, reproductive freedom, equal protection, and safety from gun violence have never been under greater assault, wrote Newsom. I have no doubt she will carry the baton left by Senator Feinstein, continue to break glass ceilings, and fight for all Californians in Washington. Newsom has refused to consider candidates who have announced they are running for Feinstein's former seat next year, including representatives Adam Schiff, Katie Porter, and Barbara Lee, in order to avoid giving any one person an advantage. Newsom was criticized for this decision as it admitted potential frontrunner Barbara Lee. Lee is a Democratic Congresswoman who has historically fought for causes including treatment of HIV AIDS and helping people get out of poverty. This move has become especially relevant because Newsom has reportedly not made Butler commit to opting out of next year's election. If she chooses to run, Lee may be faced with an unexpectedly fierce competition. California. We have to walk that road arm in arm. 